a Picerus, I'll pray for Talus. So who reef snake or short nose sea snake? The short nose sea snake occupies the northwestern coast of Australia called Ashmore Reef. Ashmore Reef has been a nature reserve since 1983, which holds a closely related leaf scaled sea snake. But the reef snake is usually found in daylight under coral growths in 1 to 2 meters of water. And having coral as being the only means of shelter against predators can become a very dangerous gamble. There is a phenomena called coral bleaching. If another mass coral bleaching event happens, the species might be facing total extinction. Coral bleaching can happen from many different factors. Water temperatures become too warm, overexposure to sunlight, chemical contamination from humans, or extremely low tides. Each of these factors upset the algae that covers the tissue of the coral, and the algae leaves the coral which then results in the coral being unprotected from diseases. Also, between 1990s and 2000s, the short-nosed sea snake species went from the third most commonly recorded sea snake to none being recorded. The species completely disappeared starting from 1998, and the reef surveys that were conducted found no snake until 2012. On top of the lack of shelter from coral, rising water temperatures could also harm the reef snake. If the snake's body temperature exceeds 97 degrees, the heat could become lethal. As it is clear that more than one variable could be playing a part in the extremely rapid decrease of the population. <laughs> Lastly, preservation actions were put in effect in 1990 that protected marine life and a second management plan that went into effect in 2002. But these management plans had issues. There's no specifications that instruct how or to what extent the plans had to stop the decrease of the population. The sea snake is prey to sharks, and if these species or other sea snake species were to go extinct, some sharks might have to look harder for a meal. So how could we fix the population decrease? We could petition the Australian Commonwealth and Australian Parks and Wildlife Service explaining the wonders of these fascinating animals.